Hi everyone, it's me, Manda. Um, I'm sorry I sound like crap. I have a cold, but hopefully you'll be able to understand me. Um, this is kind of a review video of some products I got um, for Christmas and just thought I would share it. First, um, I don't know if you noticed my hair, but I did it with a deep waver and it's the um, Hot Tools Adjustable Deep Waver um, Helix um, Adjustable Waver and I think I'll take my first 10 minutes and just do a review on this because it might take a while but anyway it comes with this pad that you can um, lay it down on when it's on because it does get really hot and you know that protects your counters or whatever and also it's a storage pouch for when you want to put it away which I really like it's the first time I ever got a heating appliance with one of those but anyway um this is it I have to clean it because it's got some hairspray on it but anyway um in case you're wondering it is the same deep waver that Fafinet X3 I think is her name um, used in her video for her Fergie inspired look and that's kind of what I went for because I saw that video and I thought her hair looked really cute and I said you know what I want to do that so I went and bought it the first one I got was a um, excuse me it was a bedhead one because this one was $70 and I didn't really want to spend that much money on one but um, anyway I, w I got the bed head when it was for 40 but I brought it home tried it it just did not get hot enough for my hair because I have really thick coarse wavy hair and I have to have hot so it just didn't get hot enough for me but anyway um, I'll start with, and I just got this, and it's already kind of dirty, but anyway, it has a locking function right here on the back that locks it together for storage, but if you want to unlock, it pops open, and I like that. Um, it also has an adjustable barrel right here in the middle, I'll show you. That setting is for tight curl, and if you do this, and then switch this down here to barrel unlock, you can twist this in the middle, there, and then where it goes, and you can get a deep, a uh, more softer wave but for the look that I have now I used the tight wave but anyway this right here is your temperature guide goes all the way up to 430 degrees and then there's your on and off switch anyway what you do is you just take a little piece of hair I put a little hairspray on on it just to make sure it stays and then you just crimp in your hold for a few seconds. And then, you know, you go down, cramp, hold, down, cramp, hold. It is kind of a time-consuming process, but I think the overall look is worth it. And it does it does stay for a while because um, I crimped it. Where did I crimp it? Um, Christmas Eve, I crimped it and then I washed it this morning so yesterday and it wasn't like as big because it does get poofy it does you know come down some but anyway that was my review on this I really like it it's a good investment if you you know like doing your hair or whatever the other thing I want to do a review on is I've seen a lot of people on the internet raving about um China uh, nail polishes and things 
um, usually I'm an OPI girl I really like OPI nail stuff and I got some from my beautician my um, the girl that does my nails because she she only charges me what um, what she doesn't charge me if you go to Ulta or any or any like place like that normally OPI nail polish is 850 a bottle but the woman that does my nails um, only charges me five dollars a bottle she charges me what she pays for it anyway these are the OPI, co OPI colors that I got and the one thing I'll say about OPI if you're looking for OPI nail polish um, if you're like me what I did I tried to log on to the website to look at the colors because she asked me um, what colors I wanted and the colors on the website are very misleading very 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 misleading um, I looked at Lincoln Park after dark on the website and it looked like a dark kind of purple when I got it in the bottle two coats it looked almost black I was not happy but anyway um, the first color that I got is a new color it's called Opie ink and I hope you can read it I hope it comes in focus but it's a real it's a, a purple I don't know how good it, you can see it but it's a purple um, here let me do this maybe a bit maybe that'll be better it's a real sparkly dark deep eggplant purple and I love it I had it on my fingernails until this afternoon but anyway that's opie ink I love that color then we have um, I'm a big 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 Duke University basketball fan go Blue Devils so I had to get me a dark blue you know for my basketball season so this color is called yoga you gotta get this blue and it's a real dark navy Duke Royal amazing blue I love this color this is what I wear in basketball season really pretty and I've never been like a red nail polish or a pink nail polish type person but the last time I got my nails done I said I wanted a pretty pink and I was talking like a milky soft pale pink but then she showed me this bottle and I loved it and I, it looked so good on my fingers. I had to have some. It's called You're a Piece of Work. And it's this color pink. It's really pretty. And um, today I went to Sally's because I had heard a lot of reviews, good reviews, about their nail polish. Um, China Glaze nail polish. I only have like two minutes, so I'm going to try to make this quick. But, um, on a second note, if you don't have the Sally Beauty card, get it. Uh, these are the two colors I got. This one is called For Audrey. And it's a real pretty Tiffany blue. I have it on my fing on my on my fingernails. Hopefully they don't look too messed up because I... This is my left hand and I'm... My right hand and I'm right-handed. So, hopefully this hand looks better. But anyway, it's a real pretty Tiffany blue color. I love that color. And then this color is called Spontaneous. And it's a milky kind of lavendery purple. Um, anyway, I got a minute left, so I'm going to wind it down. These bottles at Sally's are $5.99. Um, but with a Sally's gift card, a Sally's Pro card, it's $5 for a whole year membership. You get it for um, $3.25. So I got two bottles for $6. $6 and some cents. Whereas one bottle of OPI if you get it in a store is eight fifty plus tax not bad and it's just as good hopefully I'm gonna see if, the, if it doesn't chip or whatever but anyway that was my little mini review um, if you guys know any like 411 on how to get rid of this mess hit me up just let me know thank you talk to you later hope you aren't getting glare in my glasses but thanks for watching bye